a bright and sunny morning on the island of Nantucket, Massachusetts. Part of what makes Nantucket such a unique historic gem is its place on the map. As Herman Melville wrote in "Moby Dick," it's away off shore. Max has just returned from running an errand to join his friends in a small prep kitchen overlooking the Nantucket beach. He and our team are busy doing food prep for his new recipe that he will enter in the decadent desserts on deck baking competition. Everyone is hoping that this time Max will stay out of trouble long enough to win the cash prize with another one of his healthy dessert recipes. Hey, Max. Now that you're back from your shopping errands, let's take off these aprons and go sightseeing. There's no time. I've got to prep for the competition. Mom, can you turn on the oven? You mean we traveled all this way to Nantucket just to be stuck in a kitchen? He's only here to escape the bad press surrounding sweet Sally Buttercup's murder. And to prove he's a serious baker. And not a deranged killer. Isn't that right, dear? Those wouldn't be my exact words, Mom. Well, Sweet Sally took one sip of your kale hot cocoa and dropped dead. Big deal. We've gone over this. It wasn't me. A lunatic poisoned my kale hot cocoa. I didn't kill her. Details, details. Why do you insist on splitting hairs? You're notorious. There's even a Killer Coco Twitter account dedicated to your mishap. Yeah, it has 5 million followers. That's precisely why I registered under a different name, Bartholomew Maxwell. I'm keeping my true identity a secret, so they'll judge me on my recipe and not my notorious reputation. Running away from your past is a big mistake. It always catches up with you. Besides, someone's bound to recognize you. Your picture's been all over the media. Not if I compete in this costume, dressed as a pirate. Wait a minute. You mean changing your name and wearing that stuffed parrot on your shoulder along with that eye patch, wig, and beard can keep you out of trouble? It couldn't hurt. My fruit suit is like a magnet for murder. Besides, this competition is on an old pirate ship. I'll blend in. Son, you have finally lost your marbles. What do you think, Tanya? Well, I think that if he's going to get to ra- walk around in a, dre- at a black beard suit, we should all get dressed up and change our names, too. This recipe of yours better be delicious. Ooh, I'm packing all the flavor of a classic key lime pie in my new dairy gluten-free vegan recipe with a pecan pie crust. Smart ingredients. Pecans are low in carbs and can help reduce your risk for heart disease. Plus, they're high in fiber and they contain lots of vitamins and minerals. First of all, Max, it's pecans and not pecans. And it sounds way too healthy to win a decadent dessert competition. Well, many desserts contain butter and dark chocolate, which are low in carbohydrates. But they can also have loads of sugar and flour, which are high in carbohydrates. There are healthy carbs, ones that are high in fiber and low in sugar, like fruits and vegetables, and the not-so-healthy carbs. Well, what about rice, potatoes, and flour? My sister-in-law won't go near any white food. Well, rice, potatoes, and flour can still be part of a healthy diet. The key is moderation, and potato skins are a great source of potassium and fiber. Who cares about potato skins? My pie crust is made out of finely chopped pecans, and it's loaded with nutrients. That's why I ran out to buy a food processor. It's going to help me cut down on the prep time. Uh, you didn't wear this disguise out in public, did you? No. I stopped by a costume shop on my way back. 
Luckily, no one recognized me at the local baking store. You wouldn't believe the outrageous prices. Good thing I got a deal. Actually, it's a weird story. This eccentric lady with ski poles sold me the, this brand new food processor right out of her trunk. What was she doing with ski poles in the middle of the summer? Beats me, but she's a real lifesaver since someone, Tanya, forgot to pack mine. Well, eccentric sounds about right if she's selling food processors out of her trunk. She told me she wins a new one every year at the Decadent Desserts Competition. Enough chit-chat. I've got to soak these cashews for my pie feeling before we leave. You mean we finally get to explore the island, Max? No. <laughs> We're meeting up with all the other competitors at Peggy the Perky Pie Princess's baking seminar. She's famous for preventing baking disasters. Yeah, but can she prevent your type of disasters? 